ladies, it is me and I am here to talk to you guys about um, products and their expiration dates and why it is important to keep an eye on the expiration dates of your products. Um, we're going to start with skincare and I just grabbed two of my um, skincare products right here and I've got my notes over here if you see me looking over here I want to make sure I give you guys all of the correct information. Um, but if you look at the back of a lot of our products, you'll see this little picture. And I posted in the group um, to see if you guys knew what it meant. It does mean expiration, and a couple of you answered that question right. It's, it's not really expiration, it is a, you should be done with this product by this day, okay? Obviously, we all have makeup that we keep that's older, and, um, and, and we're fine with that. But it is suggested, okay? So our Glorious has a shelf life of 24 months and our Divine Moisturizer has a shelf life of 12 months. Um, obviously, if you're using these products every day, you're gonna use them up before the two, 24 months, two years is over with. So it's really not a big concern. Um, most skincare products have a two year shelf life. Um, you, the problem is, is when you're buying something from a store, you don't necessarily know how long it's been sitting on the shelf before it came to your house. So um, ours are a little bit, um, the dates are a little bit younger, so to speak, because uh, it's, it's based on when you open it and you use it, not how long it's been sitting on our actual shelves. Um, our items are not regulated by the FDA because we don't have any harmful chemicals in our products. So a lot of our shelf life is different than on the counter shelf life um, stuff that you will see that has chemicals in it. So keep that in mind also. Um, most of our products have the little symbol on them, but of course you can always look on our website or Google it if you're interested in that. All right, let's talk about SPF. I've had a lot of people ask me if our products contain SPF, which is a sun protecting factor. Um, they do not. One of the reasons we do not have SPF in our products is because SPF is regulated by the FDA also because it is a chemical compound. Now we do have some products with natural sunscreens. Um, some of our products have let me, um, uh, titanium oxide, zinc oxide, um, those kinds of ingredients. And if you need a list of those, I can tell you. So like our BB cream, our pressed powder, um, moisturizer, things like that, they do contain the non-chemical sunscreening factors. But I just wanted to touch on that real quick because a lot of people have asked me if our products have SPF. All right, so let's move on to foundation-based products, okay? So this would include our BB Flawless, um, our liquid foundation, um, or anything cream, okay? So the cream um, foundations, um, the concealers are cream, and our splurge cream shadows. Okay, so anything that has a cream base, um, they are usually six to eight months when you're buying over the counter. Um, you'll notice on our products, um, the foundation is 12 months, which I promise you're gonna go through a bottle faster than that anyway. Our concealer actually says two years, 24 months, and our BB also says 12 months. The reason why these three cream items um, are a little bit longer than six to eight months is because of the uh, chemical-free ingredients, okay? So that is another bonus to buying Unique. Um, cream shadows are six to eight months. When you're dealing with a product near the eye, bacteria, you, you've got just more chances of bacteria. So anything cream and eye is got a younger shelf life. All right. Um, Let's see here. Another thing with creams in regards to bacteria is when you're using sponges and stuff inside the creams and touching it to your face and then putting it back in here, um, one of the reasons why our compacts, our powders and our cream foundation compacts come with this is to separate that germy little sponge to the actual product. Um, but again, you're dipping the sponge, using it on your face, it's, it's got that bacteria issue. So I wanted to touch on that too. All right, let's move on to powders. Um, anything powder, okay? So a bronzer is a powder, a pressed powder, um, our blushes are powders, okay? Um, our mineral eye pigment powders, our palettes, 
okay? All of these powder products, um, they, they are gonna last your, the longest, 18 to 24 months, okay? And I know that our, our palette here, um, the little thing says 18 months on our palette. Um, just powders just don't fester all the germs like some of the other stuff, so. Um, all right, liquid eye products, um, liquid eye liners, three months. Okay, now we are getting some liquid eyeliner. Well, I know, I'm assuming we're getting liquid eyeliner in March, um, but I'm not 100% sure. But the liquid eyeliner should be three months. It's very close to your eye, bacteria growth, all that kind of good stuff, and you do not want bacteria anywhere near your eye, okay? So liquid eye products, three months. So that takes us to mascara. Three months, okay? There's a couple issues with mascara. Um, first of all, every time you are my dog is driving me nuts. Um, every time you are putting something near your eye and then dipping it back in, it's bacteria, 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 bacteria. It's just a fester of bacteria. All mascaras are. Um, one of the suggestions that they make is definitely discarding after three months, but also not pumping. You know, you get your little CoverGirl mascara and you go ch -ch 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 before you use it. It just pumps air in there. It, it, the air inside of the tube allows more bacteria to fester. So swirling is actually a better technique when you're dealing with mascara, whether it's ours or CoverGirl, it doesn't really matter, okay? So mascara, three months. Do not use it after you've opened it, three months, okay? Um, all right, pencil products. Pencil products are great. They last about two years. Even near the eye, if you keep it nice and sharp, you can also take like alcohol swi swa swab, excuse me, and you can um, touch the tips of your um, pencil products. But these have about a two-year shelf life. Keeping them sharp, sharpened gets the uh, bacteria off as well, okay? So we've got eye and lip pencils, um, and you've got a two-year shelf life here, which is good because I've had this over a year, and I still have so much. Look how big it is. So keep that in mind as well. Our products are highly pigmented, so they last a little bit longer. All right, lips. Lips, it depends on the product, okay? Some of them are uh, 24 months. Unique suggests 12 months. Um, they can obviously last longer than that, but if any of your lip products get an odor to them, if you smell something that just smells off, then they just say to discard it. Okay, um, our lip liquid lip right here um, has a little bit lower of a shelf life because um, it says 12 months. They're not suggesting two years for these. And again, it's because it's liquid. Um, I do know also that our lip glosses um, are a 12 month. And you'll notice sometimes if they separate, if the ingredients inside separate, like you see an oil, that would be time to discard it. Okay, so remember that about lips. If it has a funky smell or its compounds are separating and you're seeing an oil, it's time to get rid of that. All right, um, nail polish and shampoo. Um, they say nail polish is two years unless you see the chemical compounds start to separate. Hair products, if you have alcohol-based hair products, they suggest six months to 12 months. Um, if you wash your hair every day like I do, I don't have any shampoo that's that old, you know, you'll, you'll get rid of it faster. So let's talk about the dangers here real quick. Um, oh wait, let me touch real quick on the brushes. Brushes, you should clean your brushes weekly, bi-weekly at the latest, like at least every two weeks you should be cleaning your brushes. Um, I use Dawn uh, liquid detergent. I soap them all up. I use my little egg brush thing right here. You just kind of scrub the brush on onto the bottom of this and it gets all the stuff out. I use it in the palm of my hand and just you can just see the makeup coming out of the brushes. Um, but of course, especially if you're using liquid type brushes, they're going to fester bacteria if you do not clean them weekly, bi-weekly at the latest. Okay, so why is this important? It is important because of the dangers um, that are here. Let's just explain. Let me just read this for you, okay? Because it says here that over time, the active ingredients in your cosmetics um, become compromised, okay? A lot of the chemical compounds, when they are together and fresh, work well. 
but when one is getting old or the compounds are separating, then you have a chance of that chemical reaction that is not intended when the makeup is fresh. So it sits on your face and all these molecules are breaking down in the bottles. You're putting them on your face and there you have it. Reactions, red bumps, um, allergic reactions sometimes, inflammation it says here, uh, rashes, sometimes even blisters. Like if you're using really old makeup, you've got an opportunity for some blistering, which is crazy. So none of that sounds good, right? None of it sounds good. So part of our junk to spunk um, clean and purge is to actually go through your products and see if you can find expiration dates on them, okay? Dump them. If you just know they're older than 12 months, 24 months, get rid of them. So that's going to be the first part of our purge. We're going to go through our stuff and we're just going to have a dump pile and a maybe pile and then a save pile. Start off with three piles. I'm just going to do one drawer at a time because it's just way too overwhelming in my bathroom. I've got things that are so old that I never use. So we're, I'm just going to start dumping and I'm going to be looking at expiration dates. Um, when you purchase unique products, having the expiration symbol on here is a great, awesome thing. Um, I do have friends that will write the month that they purchase it on the actual bottle. So let's say I got this November 2015, I can just write November 2015 on here, and then when I see the little 12 month symbol, I know to get rid of it the following November. Is that a little bit more work? Sure, but you know, to save your skin, I think it's absolutely worth it. So hopefully I taught you guys something, you learned something. I don't think there's anything I missed. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I wrote down on my notes that I may have missed, but I think that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to post under this video, and I hope I taught you guys something cool. Have a great day. Bye.